outtake. Another exciting game on the horizon for Crawley as we travel to Doncaster Rovers this weekend. Rovers? Talk of the Town. We've got another action-packed show for you coming up this evening. And to kick things off, we're going to check out how the Reds got on on Tuesday night against AFC Wimbledon. As a lot of you will know, the FIFA 23 web app came out earlier this week, which means that we got a chance to see some of the lads' FIFA ratings for this year. There's certainly some interesting ones, and there's been plenty of arguments at training with the lads on who's got the best strength, who's got the best pace. If you remember last year, we compared Sam Ashford and Tom Nichols' stats in a video. If you want to go back and watch that, feel free. It is on our YouTube. But a new FIFA means a fresh opportunity to speak to some new players, and we caught up with Ashley Nadison and James Tilly as they look through their stats for this year. So we're sitting down today with James Tilly and Ashley Nelson. Uh FIFA 23 ratings are now out, and you know what that means? Some disappointed. Yeah, some disappointed. <laughs> some disappointed face. <laughs> some disappointed face. <laughs> this this will certainly be interesting, um, and I think there will be some disappointment for sure on both the sides. Seen the cards already. We should just start right off the bat. Overall rating. Uh, where do you think both of you stand? I think last year I was 62, I think it was. Yeah. And I feel like 
Are you happy with that 62? Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> that was a bronze rare as well. That was a rare bronze. <laughs> yeah, was a I don't rare. think I was on FIFA last year, so... Um, yeah. But I thought like around that, 62, 61 maybe. You're both 62. No, we take that. So, I'll take that. We so it's mind. a W. Yeah. I think it's a good, we'll it's, that, a w. Yeah, it's a W. Yeah. Um, I think probably where it goes down now. Yeah. <laughs> I think where it starts to get interesting here is position, you know, what position do both you play? Uh, in your opinion, and then we'll tell you what FIFA tells you, you yeah. play. I've heard a few rumors uh, that my position is wing back, which... <laughs> you did play the majority last year. I did play the last year, yeah, a little bit. But you've also played winger, striker, <laughs> centre mid, yeah. left do you, back. Do you think you should be any? Do you think you should be you should, Yeah, should be any. Play, you think you could play pretty much yeah. any position? Okay. Um, FIFA apparently differs on their opinion there. Yeah. N next year, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe next. Well, let's look at the oh. squad. The squad has some interesting matchups, and we've actually gone through and we've looked at uh, some interesting results that we found. There is only one player quicker than Natters. Who is it? Yep, I know. I know who it is. I know who they put. Well, you've cheated. You, yeah, yeah you've cheated. Put. It's mental. We saw it on social media. It is mental. And is it Dom Telford? It is Dom Telford. Because. If it, because as you just said that, he could possibly be the slowest guy on the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's not a lie. Does he know that? He knows I that, I think yeah. he knows He knows that. that. When, I'm play, if, when we're playing pre-season, he's like, you do the sprints, I'll just stay <laughs> here. I won't move. I'll just stay here. Well, maybe FIFA needs to be updated on that as yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's, we can give we, some feedback. We've got we can sort this out. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think has the highest agility out on that topic of Dom, I guess? Of him having the... I guess the no, one bigger agility. player. I reckon they might have put Dom, you know. For agility, Till you had 82 and Nanders you had 67. Wow. Um, who's, uh, who um, just dribbles in? <laughs> he just dribbles. Who just dribbles? You think JB could be up there? Could be. He's quite tall though, isn't he? Mm. That's the only thing. But no, he's... I'm Caleb? Not I feel like they give smaller players like more agility though. Don't Marshy, Nico. Could, yeah. Really? This stat I think is the highest stat any Crawley player's got. Yeah. This oh, this wow. is the highest numbered stat of any Crawley wow. player. I'm going JB. What number do you reckon? So if, what did you get? 82 for agility. Dom yeah, he had 82. 8, 85 pace. Dom had. 91 to Dom. Agility? Yes. Oh my gosh. Nah, Dom knows someone here. Yeah. Yeah, Dom knows yeah, someone here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 100% oh mental. You don't agree with that? No. Would you tell that to his face? 100%. That is very Where's the camera? High. Dom, that's not you, bro. <laughs> that's not you. <laughs> that is, wow. <laughs> no, he knows someone. Yeah, that's mad. Do you think he's, nice he's bribed them? 100%. Like, the goals, yeah, his shooting should be very high. Potentially dribbling up there, the agility and the pace, <laughs> not even close. It could be it could be in the 30s for both of them. It could be in the 30s for both of them. Last week we introduced a new segment to Talk of the Town called Teammates, where we catch up with some of the lads to get their opinions on their other teammates in the squad. Last week we spoke to Tom Nichols and James Tilly, and you know I think there was a few harsh comments in there from Tom Nichols about Dom Telford looking like someone from Game of Thrones, but we won't touch on that too much. This week we spoke to George Frankham and Joel Lynch as they gave their opinion on their teammates. Funniest player? Uh, Lynchy. Uh, yeah, me, myself, yeah, definitely, without a doubt. Funniest coach? Uh, Bias. Funniest coach? Uh, Dan's, just the sound of his voice is funny, makes me laugh. Best dressed player? I go myself. Best dressed? Uh, Nico's always looking good. He looks after himself, doesn't he, so. Definitely Nico, yeah. Worst dressed player? Uh, I think he's been a popular answer already. I go Dom Telford. He's always wearing something a bit triple XL when he should be wearing XS. Worst dressed. Oh my god. This is too hard. Um, I 
can't swear, can I? <laughs> Please it. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, I'll just say... That is... That is boring, isn't it? Worst haircut? Young Khan. Yeah. Worst haircut, David. Just trying to just crap trim. Worst. Most vain? Uh, David. Yeah. Jaden. 100%. Always wearing a vest. Hardest player? Uh, maybe Lynchy. Uh, Tony, Tony. Nutter. Absolutely no case. Best player? Uh, I like Pally. Best player? That's a good one. Oh my god. Uh, best player. I'll say at the minute, Tom Nichols. I said to him this morning, actually, I said he's doing really well at the minute. Like, he's, like the things he's doing is like, I think it just he stands out at the minute. I think Nico, yeah. Worst music taste. Pauly's the only one who plays the music in the dressing room. It's, it's not bad, so I don't really know. Um, Pauly's all right in the dressing room. Just some of the younger lads. I'll probably say James. James just brings some stuff I've never heard of, and he dances. He's a rubbish dancer. Most likely to lose all their possessions on a night out. Uh, Ludi, Ludi's a bit, um, yeah, he's a bit of a cannon. I think because uh, he, uh, he doesn't really go out. I don't think and, um, lads don't go out, but um, yeah, he's a bit. He gets a bit wild. Telford all day long. Why is that? You don't need to know. <laughs> Most likely to be a successful manager. Tony, definitely, definitely Tony. Yeah, I can't even think of just straight away. Yeah, straight away, Tony. TC. And who's most likely to go on Love Island? Jaden, 100%. People have got it in for Jaden, they think he's a, he loves he loves the mirror, he loves looking at himself a bit. Yeah, yeah. Try and catch him on camera, Charles. He's, he's always got his vest on, pumping his muscles up. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a good looking boy, to be fair. Uh, I think uh, probably Jaden, because he actually did a, get asked to go on it. I'm sure he did before all well, this, and he chose to sign for Crawley, which I find a bit weird, because I probably would have gone on Love Island. But uh, yeah, probably Jaden. Lynchy, thank you. It's been a busy few weeks here at Crawley Town Football Club. We've had games coming thick and fast, and the lads have been putting in some real graft on the training ground. We got down there earlier this week to see how they were getting on. Nice. Oh, out. out! It's long! 1-0, play! 1-0, play! Nice. Yeah, take it, take it. Pally! Yeah! Pally, come here! Pally, come here! That's why I was going to go over there. No! 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 I'm what a serve! I'm Young Yu! Young Yu! Bro, we know it's here to say! Oh, the man's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, 
Another exciting game on the horizon as we travel to Doncaster Rovers this weekend. Before the game, I caught up with Kevin Betsy and Jack Powell. You can check out that full preview over on our YouTube channel. Before we go, let's check out how Doncaster Rovers got on in their last game. That's all we've got time for this evening. Thank you very much for tuning in to Talk of the Town. We'll see plenty of you up there in Doncaster supporting the boys, and let's hope we can bring back three points. Come on, you Reds!